What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking a trip to Escalante. With no real plan in mind, we decided to head to Escalante. The National Monument area of Escalante. Oh my gosh, there is so much to see here. However, if you want to hike any of it, there's a good chance you're going to have to travel far down a dirt road to get to any trailheads. There are a couple in this area that are right off the main highway from Escalante to Boulder, and they include the Lower Calf Creek Falls and the Upper Calf Creek Falls. These two hikes are very popular, especially in the summer. This area in the summer is very dry and very hot, and so these two hikes really pull a lot of people in because of the waterfalls and the rivers. We stopped at Kiva Coffee and got some lunch and enjoyed the beautiful view. This is actually a really, really cool place, and I highly recommend stopping and supporting these people. They make almost everything in-house. I was surprised at the quality of their coffee, especially out in the middle of nowhere. This is also the only place that you can eat between Escalante and the Boulder area. On the way to Boulder, we decided to park at a couple different spots and hike down and check out the area, and it is beautiful. Once we got to Boulder, we ate dinner at one of the greatest places I've had in a long time called Hell's Backbone Grill. I definitely recommend this place to anyone that is in the Escalante or Boulder area. It is absolutely worth the drive. The quality of ingredients is higher than anything that I've had here in Utah. They literally have their own farms where they're growing food and then preparing it for dinner. I love seeing places like this that are farm to table and doing things in a sustainable way. While we were eating dinner, we had this huge rainstorm hit, another monsoon, and it just downpoured on us. We were outside under this covered area and it was so fun to eat dinner and watch the rain. After that, we headed back to Escalante to stay for the night. When we got to the city of Escalante, we were looking at cabins and places to stay while we were there and checking out our options. We found a little spot called Escalante RV and Cabin. We rented a little studio cabin and it was about $160 for the night, which was actually the best priced cabin that we found in that area. We did a lot of research and looked at yurts, other RV and cabin parks. Um, we looked at a lot of different options and this was one of the best value properties that we could find. Staying at the Escalante cabin was so fun and it was really relaxing after camping in the car the night before. It was really fun to have a place where we could shower, we could sleep in a bed and just relax for the evening. It was so peaceful and so quiet out there. We got a beautiful sunset and sunrise. They did give us a little goodie basket. You know, some people would love that little extra touch of that home feel. There was so much space in the cabin. This little cabin ended up being the perfect thing to finish off this trip. All right, that is going to wrap up this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this one. And if you have any recommendations of places that I should travel inside Utah or outside Utah, leave a comment below. I would love to hear where you travel to and your favorite spot. I hope you enjoyed watching. Have an incredible day and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.